vlogged in a few months. It's been a while. Um, I'll make a video on why I was kind of MIA for a little bit, but right now I'm doing a vlog. And this one will actually be a little different than my previous vlogs for a few reasons. One being that all my other vlogs are in California, and for those of you who don't know, I moved to Id from Idaho to California like eight months ago or something like that. And so I'm visiting my family in Idaho for a few weeks. Yeah. And while I do that, I'm working with another horse. And she's actually Arwen. I'm gonna be working with her. I'm trying to get her to California. Hopefully next summer we can get her to California. But she was a Mustang that I trained in. It's kind of a, it's kind of one of those Mustang makeovers, but it was through 4-H. So it was kind of the same thing, but through four. She was like four years ago. I trained her, and my cousins owned her, and I've been I've wanted to own her ever since. Then I just haven't been able to, but now I'm kind of actually trying to own her. But the few weeks that I'm here in Idaho, I'm gonna work with her. So I kind of just show you guys what I'm doing there, cause that's exciting, exciting. I kind of left all my crappy stuff in Idaho when I moved to California, so I've kind of got a crappy halter. And I've got a crappy training stick that has holes, I mean knots all through the string. And all my crappy grooming stuff. So, we're gonna make it work. I'm gonna go catch this horse, and it may or may not be a nightmare, so we'll see. Okay, so these are all my uncle's horses. And Arwen, my little Mustang, she's a little... Little red dun following behind this little gorilla right here. So this is her. That's Arwen. She came right up to me. Good girl. So I'm gonna try to catch her. Good girl. So I did get her and her halter's on kind of crappy because she hasn't really been worked with much. And so she's kind of reverted back to her previous ways. And so she was kind of really touchy and didn't want me to catch her at all. And so she still leads, so that's cool. I knew that much. Come on. Good girl. Good girl, Arwen. So yeah, I'm... Hopefully, by when we get her to California next summer, I can train her to ride. She's really small, she's maybe 14 hands, but she's about five years old or so. One thing about Arwen though, is even though she hasn't really been worked with much these past four years, she still knows respect. Like, she, although she's jumpy and unsure, like she still knows to keep her space and while I was opening the gate, it was taking forever. She just stood there and relax so she still has a lot of her old habits that she was taught so that's that's awesome to me
Hey guys, so my camera died yesterday, and so day two, try this again, hopefully my camera doesn't die, and so I'm working with Arwen again. She was really easy to catch yesterday, so we'll see how she is today. This is actually where I used to live and keep all my horses. In this pasture, this barn, this right before I moved to California. Hi, bud. Hi, I don't want you. Good girl. Kind of just trying to. Tiger, you aren't helping. Go away. So this might be adventure, so I'll be, I'll be back. So I wish I had a better way to set this up. There's a bee on my hand. She's like... She keeps wanting to eat grass. Her to eat grass. There we go. There we go. Good girl. Good girl, Arwen. So I just got done working with Arwen and I wish I could film more but when I'm working with her it's like filming is kind of the last thing on my mind because I just want to work with her and so she's amazing like she just seriously remembers everything and there's a few stuff that's like I'm having every t-shirt but other than that she remembers everything she might be in heat 
she's like freaking out with the other horses. But anyway, um, it took me about 30 minutes to catch her, which was awesome. But <laughs> basically what I did was I just treated her like she was in the round pen, even though she was in a big open space. But whenever she would turn away from me, I'd kind of apply pressure and make her move. And then whenever she'd give me two eyes, I'd take that pressure away. So eventually, by the end, she was following me around and then I was able to catch her no problem after that. So I wish I could have even got in that film, but it's so hard to just set up the camera and because she's just all over the place, I can't, you know. Anyway, so um, that's it for today. So uh, the sun is awful. Anyway, it is a few days later. I haven't worked with her in a few days because probably almost a week later because family's been up and so I've been just focused on, on hanging with family so I'm gonna work with her again and to be honest I haven't wanted to deal with catching her sorry I'm looking where I'm stepping I'll look at the camera I haven't really been wanting to catch her because it takes forever but I'm doing it so she's being terrible to catch so I'm kind of just waiting for her to come to me and then when she does That'll be it for today. Come here. Thank you. Thank you.